these days, different media outlets are giving us tips, advices, or pieces of advice on how to make 2011 the good year for mm -hmm. us, the best year of our life. And today is no different because on the show on Cabo Bay in LA, nandito po si Pastor, Pastor Jonathan for y'all to give us advice on mm -hmm. how we can make this year a good one for us. Yeah. Pastor, you, <clears throat> from the biblical standpoint, first yeah. of all, why is it important that everything needs to be a aligned to the Bible? Mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, the Bible is the Word of God. God is the creator of life. He is the originator of uh, life as we know it. And He is not only the creator, but He is also the master planner of our lives. And see, some people are saying the Bible was written, what, many, many eons ago. Yes. And what, what gives us proof that what's in the Bible that was written a long, mm. long, long, long time ago is still you know, uh, something that we can use mm. these days. Yes. Uh, first of all, the Bible, although it was written uh, times um, many uh, centuries ago, but the authenticity of the Bible, the inerrancy of the Bible, its truthfulness is uh, beyond dispute and beyond uh, uh, disagreement by anyone. Okay. So and, what, mm -hmm, go ahead. and so, uh, and the Bible has shown that if anyone who will follow the Word of God mm -hmm. and follow what it, it says can really have not just a change, but a change that is according to God, a change that will really bring uh, more prosperity and blessings in his life. Okay, so when you talk about change, uh, we have changed the year, and we're not just changing <coughs> the year, we're changing, mm -hmm. we're entering a brand new decade as well, no, 2011. So how do we make this year more meaningful for us according mm -hmm. to the Bible? Uh, first of all, the greatest uh, change one should be able to experience in his life is not just the physical change or the aesthetic change, the cosmetic, the skin deep change, but the change that is of the heart, the change that is of the mind and the nature. Uh, Jesus Christ came here to be a transformer of people. And the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone is in Christ, anyone is in Christ, male, female, rich or poor, educated or uneducated, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new person, he is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone, everything is become new. Uh -oh. So what are the practical tips that you can give us from the Bible mm -hmm. that will enable us to have a better 2011? The Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12, to those who believe in him and to those who accepted him, he gave the right to become children of the Lord. Meaning the path for inner transformation is for us to believe in Jesus Christ for who he is according to what the Bible says. Which is our Savior. Our Savior, our only Savior, because there are many religions today who think that Jesus is only one of the Saviors. Oh. Okay, yes, okay. and uh, there are religious groups today that say that Jesus is only one of the pathways to salvation. But we need to understand what the Bible teaches about the exclusivity of Jesus Christ as the Savior. He is not only one of the Saviors, He is not only one of the pathways, but He is the way, the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Okay, well said. And these are the things that Pastor Jonathan for y'all discusses mm -hmm. on Surer Word, which appears yes. here on Channel 18 every Friday. And mm -hmm. now you have good news for your followers <laughs> yes, because uh, you're going to be reaching more. Yes, uh, to God be the glory. Earlier, uh, later part of this year, the Lord gave us a new avenue by which we can uh, show the Sure Word program on a bigger stage, and that is uh, through satellite uh, ministry. Uh, we partnered recently with Hosanna Broadcasting Network, and uh, through our partnership with this uh, satellite ministry, we will be able to uh, broadcast the Sure Word on direct TV and uh, the other satellite uh, TV station here in Los Angeles. That's good, Pastor. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You know, in a way, because of this, you're in a way parang bringing salvation yes. closer yeah. to people who care to accept mm -hmm. it. Right? And I believe that if ever there is something that we need to change, all of us need salvation. We need a Savior. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, and that is what people need today. A while ago, you know, I was talking about this family uh, who witnessed the gruesome murder of uh, their father. I mean, that's the kind of things that we should not be uh, seeing these days. Uh, but then again, it's inevitable because of man's sin. But what we need is a Savior. 
Father. Uh, if, a per, if a person is saved and he is living according to his salvation, uh, we will be seeing these things in a lesser uh, measure. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much for always guiding us, uh, Pastor Jonathan yes. Friol, here on Pleasure. Cabo Bay in L.A. and also on Shorter Word and now mm -hmm. on a bigger platform. Yes. And more power to you for 2011. Thanks for having me, uh, General, in this program. God bless. Yes. Magbabalik pa po ang Cabo Bay in L.A. Last vlog, we have some entertainment news for you. Don't go away. Kababayan LA, ahatid sa inyo ng McDonald's. Anong mga bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks? McDonald's na ba ang inyong bagong coffee house? Ang mga bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks ay mabilis, masarap, at mas mura pa. Kahit saan, kahit kailan.